What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch, and if you are interested in getting better the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Uh, we're playing another round of Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. I'm in the second seat playing as Purple. A lot of material in Scandi. Uh, and I have the God Scandi, or, and I have the new corner God Pocket. Okay, so I am going to take this. This is locked up by Blizzard Blizzard. So I have Iceland, one, two points in Great Britain. All of Scandinavia on that one point. Question is, if someone caps on Iceland, I cry like a baby. Guess we'll just have to see how it goes. Orange sees me there. So he does. He does take it. <laughs> he does fucking take it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Still the two point Scandi. So I'll be generating plus three. Orange sees it and he does it anyways. Oh, I, you know, now I hope someone's behind him. <laughs> we see three of the six caps in the open. We see green. In the middle of Spain, I really don't like that for green. And we see orange in Scotland. Potentially capping behind me. I wonder where the bot put. I don't see a ton on the mid board. We do have splittily. So these blizzards, I am going to lose a three here. These blizzards pretty much leave everything else. Oh, wow, he loses five on a one. All right, he gives up his cap for free. Is that better? I think that is. We start with a two cap open. Yeah, I'll take a two cap up. Fingers crossed I don't get punished again. I do get punished again. Look at that. Nothing's going my way this game. <laughs> now Blue's going to take that. Now Blue's going to take that, I figure. Okay, we're predicting the bots in the mid board. We're starting with seven. So they're gonna take, they're gonna go behind them, right? He's gonna leave nothing on his capital. Hmm. Okay, I'm predicting blue just takes this here. Yeah. Okay, so blue has that. It just worked on Scandi. Good for blue. Figure greens quit the game. No, greens still playing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna attempt to take a, a sneaky splitly here. Maybe leverage some additional troops. Put on my capital. Nobody really saw that, except for black. I wonder if I'm going to be allowed to hold that, and if so, for how long. And bot lost their capital. Okay, so someone has the red cap, someone has the green cap. Well, blue has the green cap. Curious to see how much orange gets. Eight. Okay, so if one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're gonna break me there. No, you're not gonna roll a five e three. Are you? Orange does not have enough troops on his capital. Okay, blue's gonna have France and Spain. <clears throat> Where do we think Blue's original cap could be? We don't know yet. Turn three for green. Green is still playing. I think I'm going to pop oranges five in the midboard. OK, 
Okay. And green got back in on blue. Was that possible? Or is that them coming out of the bottom? Yeah, that's that's them coming out of the bottom. I'm breaking blue in Spain. Okay. I think we do want to pop purple out of the midboard. Um More troops on cow. Pop purple. Pop orange out of the midboard. I hit a little bit of this red bot as well. Maybe get something going. Okay. Smack an orange five. But still there. Damn it. You find blue's original cap. Okay. Now that bot has the Dark Alps. Okay. Eight troops now for orange. Maybe we see 16v10. <laughs> Loses and gets a positive roll. Gets a positive roll. Ah. Unbelievable this. Lose at a war with uh, Green in France and Spain. We do set on three. I'm going to take Denark Alps here and hope that Blue lets me hold it. We're tricky to win without a capital. <laughs> I'll tell you that, folks. We're real tricky to win without a capital. Okay, set. It goes down and to the left. We hope. No. Goes to the right. Uh huh. Okay, green is taking France here. So green's next to blue. I also have a set on three, so there's no reason for me to not trade now. Okay, there's green in the spot that I wanted to be. Okay, green is just playing sort of haphazardly. Do we get any value out of our two V ones? Otherwise, I have to hit a three. Okay, we get a value to the second one, so we're gonna sit there, just chill for a minute, and wait to see the situation in Dark Alps resolve before we try to take it. Bot's gonna keep hitting. I'd rather not hit another three. We're playing now like we capped in a corner, right? As if our our uh, Venice position here is our capital, except it isn't because we don't have one. That's okay. Holding splitly is sneaky. And it'll at least make us look like we're not as weak as we are. Is orange getting massive out of the top right? 13 troops. Okay. Blue gets 12. And blue cleans France. This board is taking a very long time to get organized. Yeah, blue just totally cleans France here. Yeah, good shit. I'm gonna sit there with a five. And black getting 12. So we think black has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, black has this. Black break Spain. Good. So we see black trying to address blue. Nobody's going to be addressing orange. Bot sits on four cards. I definitely want the bot not next to me because they're going to trade. Okay, green gets three troops again. 
That's why I didn't take Denark off of them. I'm going to take it now. I have to run. We're just going to guard with twos. Just says, I would like to keep my bonus now, please. Okay, red sets gets the eight. Red's a bot. That's why I took them out of being next to me. Wherever they're putting their troops in. Ooh, they still might fuck us literally. <clears throat> Lots of split bonuses here. We got split, split Italy. We got split Germany. We got split Great Britain. Please don't hit 4v2. Okay. Orange has a massive one point because of my original capital. I'm less afraid of them because they're garbage, right? They captain Scotland. They took a really lucky, they got a really lucky rule. So they're going to get strong early and then they're going to do what bad players do when they get strong early, which is fuck things up. Turns out my lights. I'll let you continue. Piss off everyone around you. All right, what do we see blue do? Look, it's 11. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. They don't have Spain, but they do have France. Don't break me into Denark, blue. Black broke you in Africa. So we assume that you want to retaliate on black, correct? We did assume that. Okay. Excellent. Yep. Love to see it. Okay. Good. That war continues. Do we think blue has anything on this cap here? No. Does black have a trade? Okay, black does have a trade. I think they now have the original, the green original cap. I'm getting the vibe that we are very close to having the green kill. Okay, black did steal. Yes, black has three capitals. Black did steal from blue. All right, well, that's upside for me because they certainly can't have enough troops on all three. So I might be able to steal one. Let me back in this game. Green's still here. Yeah, green's all the way over there. Okay. Figure orange clears him out of Russia. Remove this bot from here. I don't want him next to me. We also hit orange, so we definitely don't want orange next to us. Yeah, and it's super. I'm not expecting to hold that third one, but it's super essential that I hold every turn until I can get a capital again. <sighs> okay, red bot pops me there. Okay, do we see orange come down to break? Would not shock me. That gets the 12. Orange has been uh, targeting me this game, so they might as well continue, right? If I'm them, I wouldn't let Pete get stronger. And stack coming down. Okay. They do see stack coming down. Or are they taking the rush up? Stack, stack coming down. Yes, stack coming down. Good job. 
I kill red. He's failing the kill on red here or failing the kill on green or both? Um, how much did orange over, overextend to do that? I wish I had a set. Blue. Blue, blue trades last. This is the 15. You see retaliation on black, I figure. Black has three capitals. Oh, we see a, a failed green kill as well. Or failed red kill. How much of this does black see? This is probably the final positions. Is that a bot now? Oh, he's still here. Hmm. All right, I need... I need uh, black to not take these kills. I think it's 11 troops. Whew, come on. Hey, okay, black is not playing. Is it possible that these are the final positions for red and green? There might be some action in this part of the world. All right, if I can even leverage one of the kills, it, it will let me get the other. No, green exists in the east, okay. Green exists in Africa, not in the east. Hmm. We get the green kill. We stick it up orange's ass. Orange. Good. Okay, I have a capital, it's garbage. The board is gonna collapse on me, but at least I have a capital. It's interesting because I actually don't think orange sucks, but their fucking choice of cap, of cap is so interesting, right? It's like they did it on purpose, but they couldn't know it's me, so. This guy's turn hitting only me. I'm going to spend my turn hitting only you, and then where is that going to, where is that going to leave us? Yeah, blue gets 12. Does blue try to address orange? No. Orange gets eight. Why is it on there? They have a bot out. Okay, we have a bot out of orange. So orange now has... Wait, the game, can I kill them? Not orange, black. Black has quit the game. Caps uh, off capital no troops on their capital, do they? Let's see. Kill. Five, six. What do we need up here? I don't think we have any. Normal orange.
Yeah, get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> yeah. Get the absolute, absolute of my face. Okay, I'll have the green, I'll have the black hill here. Assuming black doesn't set on three. Orange sets on on uh, four, gets the third, or gets the 40 trade. We got 75 stack coming. He's, so he's not making kills, right? This would be the miss. Would be the chance where you would have had the black hill on the table. But he throws it instead, and he, and he opens the line for me to take it. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. We will take the black hill and set again. Yeah. So Orange has about 40 troops on their capital. I don't think we see blue take the black hill. Do blue? Ah, oh, we see where blue remove my Africa. That's fine. I have the black hill. I don't know how well I do after that. I'll be in a three-player game where orange is aggressively pummeling me. So maybe I just take the black hill and sit on capital. Blue choosing to be on orange's side is disheartening, but I can't say terribly surprising. Um, okay, so that is pretty much all black. We hope black steps off cap here with their 17, or else I might not have enough troops for that kill. Ooh, they don't, fuck. Okay, well, I can't f throw the game. I haven't been bad to blue, but blue's letting orange get big. Yeah, I think we just stalemate then. I have a marginal black kill here, but uh, there's a risk of failing it, and then then I'm dead. So uh, it's an overly risky kill. I think we just let these guys hit each other, ideally. And my dice are soft. Okay. Set? No set on four. I was going to say, if uh, if black goes to five cards, this guy getting now like 40, 20. Eh, could be more. Okay, start hitting some blue as well. Force blue to address you. Or is that black in Russia? Good. He's an ass. He just hits everything. All right, so now we're both going to ideally team on, on orange. A little confused about oranges play this game overall. I can't believe that they got away with this. That's what you get, fucking blue. That's what you get, man. <laughs> just gonna let, just going to let this guy bully you. It's unbelievable. All right, so black blood on four cards are going to set here. Dude, hit orange. Like, hit orange. Hit him. Actually hit him. Oh, you're not even trying. Fuck, this guy isn't even trying. Okay. All right, well, maybe we see black go to five. I don't know. I'm not going to roll 46 v 20. I don't get, I haven't gotten those rolls this game. Is it my last chance? It would be a double trade. Hmm. Is this my last chance? <sighs> kind of think it is. All right. Fingers crossed I have enough troops for this fucking kill. We go positive. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Dice, for being for remaining broken.
stay in your f***ing hole. Stay in your f***ing hole. F*** you. Stay in your f***ing hole. Asshole, f*** you. Yeah, set. You're lucky. You lucky f*** you have a set. You lucky motherfucker. This whole game. You lucky motherfucker. You lucky, lucky motherfucker. F*** you. Stay in your hole. Oh, Blue is a set too. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Blue's gonna break me while I had this guy on the f*** ropes. Oh, well played, Blue. Well played. Good game, Stay in your f hole. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> f you. F you. Stay in your f hole. Yeah, I want to see you fort some troops out now. Fort some troops out, Orange. Yeah, f you. <laughs> I feel so f vindicated right now. <laughs> All right, he gets a second card. Just keep it together, Blue. Or go take a look. Just don't break the shit out of me. Take a plus eight. Yeah, well played. How much do we think we, he's got on cap, folks? Who's going to wait for me to kill Orange and then go into a 1v1 probably at advantage? Goodbye, Orange. Please taste my... Never thought a man like Phil Collins could break my heart like that. Ladies and gentlemen. We let blue have Spain. We don't want to open that bottom capital. Let's see what he does. We might have the cap run if he splits properly. He's not opening any of them. Do you open the 96? Maybe he doesn't know what's up there. He doesn't know what's up there. There it is. Yeah, there it is. We open now.
What do we think he has down there? Let's find out. Only 30 troops. Okay. So I'm gonna strengthen one cap in the bottom right. Um, so let's get the 75. I have a follow-up set. I do not have a follow-up set. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, that 200 can ev uh, eviscerate my bottom board, but I'll be able to catch up. I don't think I lose here. But it might take a bit. Especially not having set on four. Yeah, breaks to open. Four. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, that's his last cap card. Ooh, he takes his last cap card. That's very interesting to me. Hang on, can I just take that? Yeah, I can. I don't want to fortify to it. I don't want to connect, but I don't want to lose too much off that, so... Ah, that's probably already too much. Alright, he's only got one cap, it's in the middle of the board and has no cap card, so pretty sure we win next turn. Yeah, this is a winning position now. I'll say good game to you. That was a tense game. We lost our capital. We lost our capital for like five turns or something. We had no capital. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, holy shit. And slowly build out a card block. You gotta fortify some troops out, sir. Do we see a large fortify? Doesn't. The noose is tightening. Wow. 
good for blue. Blue's making me card block him. And set. Looks good. I'm going to take that bottom cap. I don't care if they do. Yeah, they don't even try for it. card blocked. Almost card blocked. <laughs> GG, man. All right, let's do the Q&A question. Let's get a priority Q&A question from McHorse. Hello. What? is up risk takers the what is up the risk taker hey pete I have another question for you sir i've watched risk content for a long time and the more i watch you play and talk about philosophy i get a feeling like risk just isn't a game i get a feeling doubt nowadays that diplomatic skill is part of the game is really relatable in real life in work online communities for example one of the users of my software keeps saying i support you wholeheartedly while doing the bare minimum as some kind of virtue signaling. It's like you telling an ally to attack green because you want to work together um, to, with them to defeat and then go 1v1 and they just contribute one troop and send a thumbs up. Do you find that relatable? What do you think about it? Thanks for your attention. Okay, so he's got a 200 cap. Let's just make all of his cards as expensive as possible. Yep, he's got a 200 cap. So his best card here is a 63. We'll eat a decent amount of that. Yeah, I find it super relatable. So one of the things that I... Um, that I remember as a lesson from having employees is um, people honestly tell you what they think um, via their actions much better than their words, right? So a person saying something like something to me to the effect of, I will work hard for you is a massive tell, like in your example, right? I support you. You don't need to tell me that you support me. In fact, uh, you telling me that you support me is less than worthless. Um, what I need you to do to support me is to show me, is to do it, right? So I think we, we uh, as people, need to focus our attention on um, our actions. What do we do, you know? Oh, I see pivots. Interesting, interesting play. The pivot. An 80 to 114 is not enough, but it's close. And 24. Okay. Let's 
Let's just win the game. Good game, sir. Fuck, man. No cap. Um, <laughs> no cap for multiple turrets. <laughs> and fuck you, Orange. I'm super curious to see Orange's rank here because he played really well in the, like, mechanics, but his choices were ridiculous. Uh, yeah, beginner and Phil Collins. GG, Phil Collins. You broke my heart. Defeating three beginners and a master. Um... Yeah, just to finish the course's question. Um, diplomatic skill in life is called social skills, relating to people, right? Of course, it's uh, of course it's impactful for your game. Of course, it matters, right? People matter. People are the most important things I would say in your life, right? Someone saying I support you is worth less than nothing, right? Show me. Or I have an another favorite anecdote from from my business. Um, the people who would tell me that they're going to pay me. Right. It's like the content of the phone call or the content of the email would be, I am going to pay you the money. Don't worry. Or something like that. Like, I don't give a shit. And in fact, you're wasting my time right now. Right. You know what you should do instead of telling me you're going to pay me. F pay me. Now that's the lesson, right? So when you spend your time telling people what you're going to do, cool. Ask me if I care. Why don't you show me? I think that is how I'm going to answer your question, McCorse, and thank you for it. Thank you all for watching. That was <laughs> quite the comeback indeed, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. More Europe advanced progressive capitals to come. <sighs> I have a daily release on free feet a daily release on the Kill Pete strategy. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.